Hello friends, welcome to our, our channel. In today's session, we will see an example for midpoints ellipse algorithm. So in the previous session, we have already derived some formulas to find out the coordinates of uh, ellipse. And now let us see the example. And in the case of circle, we are calculating the coordinates for the first octant itself. So based upon the first octant coordinates, we are assuming the second octant coordinates and finally the coordinates of all the quadrants. So each quadrant is having two octants, right? So this is based upon the symmetric property of the circle because anywhere that means in any octant the radius is equal. In, in the case of ellipse, uh, there will be two different radiuses, one with respect to x-axis and another with respect to y-axis. So we have already derived formulas for both the regions, region 1 and region 2, that means the first octant and the second octant. And after completion of this quadrant, we will assume the remaining quadrants, so all the points in the remaining quadrants. So here, the, in the circle, the conditions to stop, where we have to stop uh, the octant calculation is x greater than or equal to y. In here, in this case, the, in the ellipse, so where we have to shift the region, that means where we have to stop the region 1 and where, where we have to start the region 2. So this is the condition 2ry square xk plus 1 greater than or equal to 2rx square yk plus 1. So, if this condition is satisfied, that means at that point, the region 1 ends and at the same point, the region 2 will start. So, so once, uh, let us see the formula which we have derived in the previous class. So, this is the P1K. So, here we are uh, representing P1K and P2K. So here the 1 represents the region 1 and 2 represents the region 2. So P1K is equal to Ry square plus Rx square by 4 minus Ry into Rx square. So this formula we have derived in the previous session. And similarly P1K plus 1 decision parameter, next decision parameter is equal to present decision parameter P1K plus Ry square plus 2 into Xk plus 1 Ry square plus Rx square into Yk plus 1 square minus Yk square minus rx square into yk plus 1 minus yk. So based upon the decision parameter, if the decision parameter is greater than or equal to 0, the x moves in unit intervals and y moves in unit intervals. So y will decrements, y decrements because here we will start finding the coordinates from this point. So gradually we will get down. That means x moves in unit, unit interval, y moves in unit decrements. So if decision parameter is less than 0, obviously x moves in unit intervals and we have to select the coordinate, the previous coordinate yk. So y, yk will not change. So here in the first octant, uh, that means in the first region, in the first region, x moves in unit intervals and y, we should decide the y coordinate whether we have to select the previous coordinate or the next coordinate here the next coordinate means we have to decrement a unit interval from the present y coordinate and similarly at the condition so when the condition becomes true automatically we have to go move on to the second region so at which point we are stopping the region 1 that will be the initial point for the region 2 so P2K is equal to XK plus 1 by 2 whole square RX square plus YK minus 1 square RY square minus RX square into RY square. Similarly P2K plus 1 is equal to P2K plus RX square minus 2 RX square YK minus 1 plus RY square into XK plus 1 square minus X square, XK square plus RY square into XK plus 1 minus XK. So here also based upon the decision parameter we have to select the coordinate, next coordinates. So here by default y will move in unit intervals that means we have to decrement the y value in unit intervals and we have to select the x coordinate that means we need to select one among the two 
x coordinates that means present coordinate or the next coordinate next coordinate will be the unit interval addition of unit interval so if the decision parameter in the second region is greater than or equal to 0 the next coordinate will be x k comma y k minus 1 and if the decision parameter is less than 0 the next coordinates will be x k plus 1 comma y k minus 1 so these are the formulas which we have derived in the previous class now let us start an example with two radiuses one radius around uh, x axis is 8 and radius around, uh, 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 about to y axis is 6 so here we are starting so the first initial point will be 0 comma 6 this is the initial point so in the region 1 just remember in the region 1 x moves in unit intervals and we need to select the y coordinate and in the region 2 x we need to select the x coordinate and y moves in the unit interval so we are coming from top to bottom the y, y unit intervals means just we have to decrement the y value and x we have to increment the x value now initial decision parameter so initial decision parameter the initial point is 0 comma 6 and 0 comma 6 the initial decision parameter is equal to we have to calculate in this r y square r y square means 36 plus r x square 64 by 4 minus 6 into 64 so after calculating this we will get minus 332 which is less than 0 so at the point k is equal to 0 so this is at region 1 just remember here we need to calculate or we, can, we need to find the coordinates in both the regions region 1 and region 2 so we have to calculate this both the expressions because based upon this condition only we have to stop the region 1 and we have to continue at the region 2 so at every step we need to find out these two points now at 0 0 comma 6 we are starting at 0 comma 6 at 0 comma 6 initial decision parameter is minus 332 so that which is less than 0 so here if p1k is less than 0 the next coordinates will be xk plus 1 comma yk so there is we should not change the y coordinate so x will be incremented 1 and y is taken as it is no change in y coordinate so the condition we need to calculate this expression also 2 into xk plus 1 that means 2 into 1 into 36 72 2 into yk plus 1 2 into 6 12 into rx square 64 768 so 72 is greater than sorry sorry 72 is less than 768 so this condition is false so again we need to continue in the same region so next to coordinate next decision parameter next decision parameter is this one so we need to calculate this next decision parameter p1k plus 1 is equal to p1k that means minus 332 plus ry square means 36 plus 2 into xk plus 1 xk 0 plus 1 1 into ry square 36 plus 64 into uh, yk plus 1 whole square yk plus 1 whole square 6 square 36 minus yk square 36 so it becomes 0 it also becomes 0 because yk yk plus 1 is also a yk here so uh, after calculating this decision parameter we will get the value minus 224 which is again less than 0 so as we know from the formula if the decision parameter is less than 0 x moves in unit intervals and there will be no change in the y coordinate so the next coordinates are 2 comma 6 no change in y coordinate so again we have to calculate this because we have to check the condition so here 144 and 768 again the condition fails because 144 is less than 768 so again the third in the second k is equal to 2 in the third iteration so 2 comma 6 we are starting again we are calculating the decision parameter so again using this decision parameter we will get the value minus 44 again which is less than 0 so 2 in the 2 we are starting from 2 comma 6 the decision parameter is minus 44 which is less than 0 so x moves in unit intervals and y doesn't change so 2 becomes 3 and 6 will be remain same again we have to calculate these two terms so 216 and 768 which is again less than 768 that means the condition again false 
so we have to calculate in the first region itself again we have to calculate the next decision parameter so after calculating this decision parameter we will get a 208 which is a positive number positive number so which is greater than 0 so here if the decision parameter is greater than 0 x moves in unit intervals and y also moves in unit intervals that means decrements so the next coordinates will be if we have started from 3 comma 6 the decision parameter is 2 comma 208 plus 208 so the next coordinates are x moves in unit intervals so 3 becomes 4 and y also moves in unit intervals but it decrements so 6 becomes 5 so again we have to calculate these two terms in this iteration 288 and 640 again which is false the condition false that means 288 is less than 640 again we have to calculate the decision parameter for the given points so the decision parameter will become so minus 108 so once you calculate these terms in this formula substitute these terms these values in the formula so that we will get these values right so minus one uh, next decision parameter we will get the minus 108 which is again less than zero so here it is less than zero that means again the next coordinate will be x moves in unit intervals and y doesn't change so the four the next coordinates are four becomes five and five becomes same because y doesn't change again we have to calculate these two terms so don't get confused so again we have to calculate these two terms 360 and 640 again the condition fails that means we have to remain in the same region region one so again calculate the decision parameter so 288 we will get the value 288 which is greater than 0 so if it is greater than 0 from the formula we know that if the decision parameter is greater than 0 the next coordinates will be x moves in unit intervals and y also moves in unit intervals that means it decrements so our next coordinate 5 5 becomes 6 comma 4 so x unit intervals increases so 5 becomes 6 and 5 becomes 4 y coordinate will decrement so again you can calculate the four terms two terms so we will get 432 and 512 which is again less than so 432 is less than 512 that condition fails so again calculate the next decision parameter we will get the value 244 which is greater than 0 so from the formula if the value is greater than 0 we know that next coordinate will be x you moves in unit intervals and y also moves in unit intervals so we have to select the next y coordinate so 6 comma 4 becomes 7 comma 3 and here also we have to calculate the term 5, 504 and 384 which is greater than so this term is greater than 384 that means the condition is true so as we said that if the condition is true we have to stop it in the first region so at which point we have stopped the point is 7 comma 3 so at, at the point 7 comma 3 the region 1 ends because the condition becomes true so from that point we have to start the region 2 so substitute this 7 comma 3 in decision parameter initial decision parameter in the region 2 so xk is equal to 7 yk is equal to 3 so clearly observe so at the point 7 comma 3 the condition becomes true so that's why 7 comma 3 is the end of the region 1 and the same point is starting point for the region 2 so we have to calculate this 7 comma 3 in p2k so if we calculate this 7 comma 3 in p2k we will get the initial decision parameter as minus 23 so which is less than 0 so in the region 2 if it is less than 0 x moves in unit intervals and y also moves in unit intervals so by default the y moves in unit intervals so we have to select the x coordinate in the region 2 so here 7 comma 3 the decision parameter is minus 23 which is less than 0 so if it is less than 0 we need to select the next x coordinate and next y coordinate so 7 comma 3 becomes 7 becomes 8 and 3 becomes 2 so y always decrements because we are starting from here and we are finding this way and so we need to calculate here no need of calculating these two terms because region 2 so we have to continue the calculations uh, until we reaches 
see the, this rx comma 0 we reach the coordinate rx comma 0 so until we reach this coordinate we need to calculate we, we need to continue the calculations that means we need to continue the iterations so in the region 2 first point 7 comma 3 the decision parameter is minus 23 and the next coordinates are 8 comma 2 so this is not rx comma 0 rx comma 0 means 8 comma 0 so we need to continue the calculations until we get that 8 comma 0 so again we need to calculate the decision parameter p2k plus 1 is equal to so apply this formula second region formula so that we will get the value 361 so 361 which is greater than 0 again from the formula if, if p2k is greater than 0 we need to we, we should not change the x coordinate but y moves in unit intervals so the 8 becomes 8 so x doesn't changes and we need to decrease the y coordinate so 2 becomes 1 again we need to select the so 8 comma 1 it is not a 8 comma 0 so again we need to start the calibration that means next iteration again you have to find the next decision parameter which is 297 greater than 0 which is greater than 0 so if it is greater than 0 as we see, we see in the formula the next coordinates are xk remains same and yk will be decremented so 8 becomes 8 so it doesn't change in x coordinate y becomes 0 so which is our final coordinate 8 comma 0 so here we have to stop the calculations so we need to continue in the region 1 and we need to calculate all the iterations until the condition becomes true this is the condition 2 r y square x k plus 1 greater than or equal to 2 r x square y k plus 1 so whenever this condition becomes true at that point will be the end point for region 1 and the same point will be the starting point for region 2 so in the region 2 we doesn't need the calculations for these two terms because we need to continue the calculations until we get the last point 8 comma 0 that means r y comma r x comma 0 so at any time we are starting at this position and we are stopping at this position so starting position is 0 comma 6 and end position is 8 comma 0 so from this this is the this, these are all the points in quadrant 1 so from the quadrant 1 we can assume the coordinates for quadrant 2 quadrant 3 quadrant 4 so finally we can uh, assume all the coordinates for i mean all the coordinates of ellipse for all the quadrants so we should take care that uh, this is the end point for the region 1 and the same point we should substitute in the de initial decision parameter so in the region 1 the initial decision parameter is so this is the initial decision parameter so in this we have to substitute the initial points 0 comma 6 so but in the region 2 we doesn't know the point so after calculating we will get the point and this point should be substituted in the initial decision parameter of region 2 so then continue the iterations so finding the next decision parameters and until we, we it reaches the rx comma 0 so hope you understood this example so due to a large calculations i have already solved the problem and i have explained it and if just to substitute these values in this formula definitely we will get the same uh, values so hope you understood this problem and thank you.